This short video is designed to help you conduct a 4-wire Y9S meter test. So in this video, we will cover setting up the Power Master, connecting the cables, performing a customer load meter test, performing a CT test, performing load box testing, and removing cables. To get started, you'll need the following items. The Power Master unit, voltage probes, duckbill current connectors, three flex rings, probe adapter cable, pulse adapter IR, and jumper cables. Now that we have our equipment ready, let's get started. First, power on your unit and build a site. Remember to verify the correct phantom load test is chosen when building your site. If you need help with this part of the process, you can watch our videos found on our website at www powermetrics.com. In the training section, look for the 7 series site menu and the 3 series sites videos. Now connect the ground, neutral, and phases A, B, and C voltage probes as shown. Shunt the CTs and insert the duckbill for phases A, B, and C. Remember, the current flows into the white side of the duckbill and exits the black side during a customer load test. Now reclose the current return to the CTs and connect the IR adapter to the pulse output on the meter. Now double wrap the flex ring around the primary current for phases A, B, and C. Make sure the arrow on the flex ring is pointing toward the load. Verify your connections are properly made and press F6 again to continue with the test. Now verify that your vectors are 120 degrees apart and current vectors are near their associated voltages. Press F6 to continue. Once the unit pulses, press F6 to continue and to begin the test. Now that the first pulse has been counted, the Power Master will display the percent registration, voltage, current, power, and power factor. At this point, the test is complete and the meter has passed. Press F6 to continue. To begin the CT testing, verify the wiring is correct before pressing F6 to continue. When phase A is complete, the Power Master will proceed automatically to Phase B and then to Phase C. Using your arrow keys, you can now highlight any one of the phases to retest a CT if needed. But if you don't need to retest a CT, then press F6 to continue to the phantom load test. To prepare for the phantom load test, the current circuit must be isolated. To shunt the CTs, Connect the jumper cable from the top of the drive CT test switch to the bottom of the same phase return. Repeat this process for each of the other phases. Once your connections are made, press F6. Once the load box has started and the first pulse has been received, press F6 to start the test. The steps are pre-programmed in the Power Master and are conducted in this order. Full load, power factor, and light load test. 
As you can see in this case, the full load test finished within specifications and the Power Master proceeded to the Power Factor test. Now that the Power Factor test is finished, the unit now proceeds to the light load test. All three tests are now finished. Press F6 to save your data and exit to the main menu. Now press Option 8 to verify that the data has been saved to your PowerMaster unit's memory. Once verified, select Previous to return to the main menu. Be sure to disconnect the flex probes and verify that everything still looks correct. Remove the jumpers and the duckbills from the test stand. Reclose the return test switches and remove the IR cable. Remove the phase A, B, and C, and neutral voltage probes. Finally, remove the green ground cable and turn the Power Master off. Consult the Power Master manual found on our website for more detailed information and explanations if you need it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional Power Master training videos. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Follow us for announcements on software updates and other important news.